Hello hey viewers, we're back once again with this TPI 12 inch high velocity fan. This is model F12TE. Probably the, I would say, forget probably, it is the best fan available in the market today. Really great fan, built just like the old patents used to be in the 90s and the 80s. So this one here, I'm going to put it up to high. High, high speed and we're getting a reading on the meter of 0.6 amps right on the nose it's rated for 1 amp so I think what we're gonna do is we're going to go inside here and we're going to increase the pitch on the blades until it draws an amp because these severely lack variance in the speeds and they're kind of loud on low and I think those two items would be corrected if there was more pitch on the blades. Now I tend to think that these motors were not really made specifically for this particular blade set. I don't know, I can't confirm that, but my speculation is they're more of a generic motor and as far as I'm concerned, when it comes to matching motors to blades, you know, it's, let's say in reference to like, um, you know, a kitchen exhaust fan, for instance, where you have a belt drive scenario with two pulleys, to match that motor to the blade, you would sit there and adjust the pulleys. You would, you know, screw them in or out to change the surface area the belt rides on, to to change the load on the motor, and you'd match it up to the the rated draw on the motor you know, or approximately. And when, in this case here, I don't see why we can't do the same thing. Because we're just over half of the allocated power draw on the motor, so I tend to think it's not, it's just not enough load on the motor. Or it could handle a lot more than it's being given. So we might as well try and get it to where I would think it seems like it should be. So, let's open this up opens up very easily. Just those two screws and these clips uh, come off to release the rest of the guard. These are kind of stuck. Okay, so um, now this is out of balance without the front guard on. Just tighten this up a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to say what's. Oh, these are strong, these blades. They're not interested in bending at all. Jeez, this is going to be a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Maybe I'll just kind of do that and bend it on the edge. Get a little more pitch on there. Now, I think it's going to take a lot more pitch to get it to where I want it to be. Okay, so that's 0.64. Hardly made any hardly budge the uh, power draw. This is a 1 amp motor. It's a PSE motor on a 12 inch blade. I mean that's, that's a lot of power. I think uh, I think the motor is way undersized. Okay, that's 0.72. Let's see how the low is looking like. Point three seven. Yeah, it's not much more than it was. It's a little bit slower. This bearing's got to get oil in there. They're dry. All right, let's go a little more. <laughs> Make sure the guard's still going to fit on here, though. Yeah, it'll still fit. As soon as I could move that back on the shaft a hair or two if I needed to. 
can't believe how strong this blade set is. I'm having a hard time getting this to bend. Point eight, so we're only halfway there. Okay, there's our nice, quiet, slow low. That's point three nine. I mean, that's going real slow on low. We have to do a temperature check, obviously, and see see how it's responding to the temperature. But as far as electrically is concerned, it's still within the allocated range. Yeah, it's only 0.8. Now we're we got we're allotted another 0.2 amps still. I'll go a little bit more, I guess. stuff now too much <laughs> okay now we're hitting the capacitor certainly don't want that to happen of a, a repeat of Dave's fan incident with the capacitor Let's see how that does. Point eight two. I mean, this this is getting ridiculous. The plate's hardly going to fit in here anymore. That's point three nine. It was I think point three five or something before. So it's barely even drawing that much more on low. I'd like to get it to one amp, but I, <laughs> I don't think I can. The plate's not going to fit. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Let's see how close it is to the front guard at this point. It's getting close. I can only go like a half inch more before it starts to hit the front. Oh, liquid spill, liquid spill. Not good. It's been so humid the last couple of days that uh, we're getting water leaking in here again. Not even the last couple of days, it's been like a week or two now. It's like this. And even now it's it's getting to be nighttime is 77 degrees, which is fine, but it's still 90%. <clears throat> and I'm getting mold and stuff with this weather. Not good. Alright, anyways, um, <laughs> I can't go much more. It's going to start blowing air out to the sides at this rate. Okay, that's 0.85. I did see a uh, decrease in the speed finally, but I mean, this is getting kind of ridiculous. <laughs> That's kind of creeping along on low. That's 0 0.39. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be quiet on low now, but I think it's too much. That's 0 0.46. That's 0.84. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's running that much slower on high.
See, now the airflow is kind of funky. It's not like coming out straight anymore. So I think that's that's too much pitch. I'm going to take it back down a little bit. Still pretty good quiet low. Alright, so let's say we'll go with that. Now I gotta try to get it into balance because it's gonna be all cockamamie in here. It's not a balance of precision, but it's certainly pretty close. Actually, that feels better than it did originally. Okay, that's that's a pretty good balance, actually. More than acceptable. Perfect balance. Huh. That's funny. Okay. Let's put it back together. And uh, I'm going to have to run it for a while and see what the... Run it under supervision and see what the motor temperature becomes. You know, and if it doesn't overheat, then uh, I'd say these don't ship with the appropriate blade pitch. So now our new ratings on high, we have 0 0.8, 0.78, although huh, it doesn't feel like it moves as much air, it kind of like wafts out to the sides of it. On medium it's 0 0.47, 0 0.43. 0.43 stabilize, and then on low it's uh, it's 0.37. Yeah, this ain't gonna work. It's uh, it's kind of like blown out to the sides a bit. So I think I think that's too much pitch now. Now the blade shape is deformed and it's not working quite right. So let's take it down a little bit. See, I, I'm saying it's wrong, but maybe it, maybe it was pitched the way it was for a reason. Oh yeah, that's really throwing out more air like that. That's 0.74. Okay, so we went over with the pitch. That was too much. Okay. This is pretty good, I think. Let's put the guard back on and try that. Is this balanced? Yeah, it's balanced. Let's see how that does.
see that guard is a lot more restrictive than I would have thought it was. That's 0.74, which still is, is a ways away from what it theoretically could take. But I think if you go over that, there's no advantage. It's going too slow. That low speed is 0.36. All right, I'm gonna leave it there for now. I mean, we could spend more time trying to figure out what the best pitch is because you, you you're dealing with power draw, but you're also dealing with aerodynamics. And I think at this point uh, we may have pitched it too much for the blade to work it the way it was intended to. So I don't know. But I'm going to let it run like this. And I'm going to see what the power draw is. I mean, not the power, the temperature. Right now it's still cool. It's also only in the 60s down here. We take it upstairs where it's 80-something degrees. Let it run. And we'll see how hot it gets.